video review for you. This time we're taking a look at uh, Fans Projects Glacial Lord. The third figure in the Glacial Lords is his Tusker. Uh, I got him alongside the first two that I reviewed. I just didn't get around to reviewing him yet. So He's obviously a woolly mammoth or some kind of prehistoric elephant. I'm going to just go with woolly mammoth. Uh, this side shows a lot of screw holes, which I'm not crazy about. But as you can see, he's very chunky, very beefy, very G1, which I love. Uh, follows nicely with the other uh, Glacial Lord figures that we've already looked at. Does have his little dude. Right there. Again, these are all individually molded. Very cool. Very neat. So yeah, so for his Beast Rider mode, what you want to do is just come up here, and get in there and flip that open, and then he just kind of slots right in there. Right up on top, just like that, and that's that's what he does. So you can, if you wanted to, you can display that. that. You can also display him in uh, inside, just like the other guys. Uh, unfortunately, these guys haven't gone up for pre-order yet. I'm still waiting on the last two, so hopefully those go up soon. So yeah, not not a uh, not a ton to talk about in in beast mode. He does have an articulated trunk and articulated tusks, so you can uh, can move those. But that's about it for articulation in this mode. So transform. I'm gonna rip off this top piece. Uh, it's gonna form a shield uh, and also the chest plate because he does form the torso. As you can tell, he is the biggest. I'll go ahead and lift up the tusks, rip off his nose, pull it straight away, just pegs in right there, nice long peg goes in right there, set that off to the side. We're going to fold these in, there's pegs right here on his ears, and they go into slots right in there. There we go. Now we're going to just lift up on this whole front section, and just lift it up and back and out of the way. Then we're going to come over here onto his underbelly and just kind of unfold that like that. Come in here, flip out his toes, just like that. Come up to the top. And we're just going to split the arms, fold them down. Now we're going to take, I wish these guys had names. I don't know what to call them. They're not headmasters, they're just kind of rider dudes. Now this one's kind of a pain in the butt to get in. There we go. And now, since obviously that looks stupid, because he has a little head and a big body, um, they actually give you a... It's the same face. It's actually inverted colors, because this has a gray face and an orange crown. This is uh, an orange face with a gray crown. It's more or less the same face, it's just bigger, so it actually looks in proportion. Um, this guy does have elbows, so let's go. Just leave him like that. The backpack just stays like that. You take his shield, flip out the peg right here, and that's going to use the connector the connector port in his shoulder. Just clips on like that. His gun, you just is his trunk. So you just plug it into his fist, straighten it out. And you can see that there are blasters or whatever on the end. And there we have Tusker in his robot mode. So as you can see, he is very bricky and g one -y. Kind of, I'm just going to take a gun out of his hand for now because it's getting in the way. Very long peg. Uh, as far as articulation, nothing at the head. It does do full, uh, pretty, basically full motion at the shoulders except for the back peg that's in the way. Um, bends at the elbow nicely. You see the this pause there, and he's got these old uh, coming to play later. But uh, does bend at the, the elbow 90 degrees, doesn't bend back, just forward, just hinged. Nothing at the waist, and he's kind of got knee or knees, kind of, and hips, but those are mostly for transformation. It's supposed to, they're supposed to stay blocky for, uh, for this mode. So, yeah, there he is with his giant backpack. So let's just...
cut to it and go to uh, combine mode. So we're just going to rip off the arm shield, fold this peg back up, put that to the side. Uh, take the head and do you fold it down or do you leave it? I don't remember. We'll leave it for now. Um, what you want to do is you kind of come back here, rotate this all the way around. And then we're going to bend at the elbows all the way and kind of just lift these up for now. Then we're going to come here to the legs, fold up the feet all the way. Then we're going to basically make him sit like that. Then we're going to unpeg the legs and then if there's a peg here and a peg down here. And then we're going, there's a, there's teeth gears in there and then you just want to open up the gears like that. Fold these back down. And now what you want to do is you want to come over here on the back and just extend this all the way out. And then right here, the combined mode head, you just want to rotate that around. Um, then before we click it on, before we put it on, I'm going to take the shield. There's two tabs right here and they're going to go right here on his chest. So you just kind of line everything up. Give it this push. We're going to pull the head over. Yeah, you can just leave it like that. You don't have. To, I guess it doesn't matter if you fold this head down or not. You just put this right on top. Um, fold the tusks forward, and then bend. These guys straight down like that, and then that is his combined mode. And then, unfortunately, the head does not lock. It does not tab. It just literally sits there. And that is the one giant flaw I have with him. I do wish that the head pegged in and it doesn't. So yeah, there he is. That is what the torso will look like. Um, obviously, the arms will peg in here. Feet will peg in here. And his rifle, the other two uh, guys that I showed you already will plug onto here. I probably should have brought them. I just didn't want to take them off the shelf. And they make a uh, combined larger gun. And that will go into the hand of uh, whichever hand you wish. And then there is one other thing. Um, up here, in the backs of the beast feet, there are the combined port hands. So the feet come with the figure and then the hands come with him so they actually it's pretty cool that they actually have a place to uh, a place to store not bad again the head does kind of flop around because it just connects to the backpack but I do appreciate that they put it all in one unit much like uh, something like defense or so yeah there he is income that's his torso mode so these are basically gonna be like you know, rockets or whatever the hell you want, whatever you want them to be. So yeah, not bad. Very much so. Looking forward to uh, to the other two, so I can get him finally combined up. Uh, hopefully, they those go up soon. I mean, they're done. I don't know what's taking so long, but eh, hopefully, they go up soon. So yeah, um, when these guys do finally go on sale, buy them, buy them all because they are fantastic. I can't say enough good things about them. So yeah, this has been the video review for Fans Projects Glacial Lord Tusker.